is dead. We've made significant progress <laughs> from the debacle that was left by President Trump in, in, his, in his last term. Oh, man. We ourselves in a situation oh, where man. We, have one, we have to make sure that we have a fair tax system. I ask anyone out there in the audience or anyone out watching this debate, do you think the tax system is fair? The fact is that I said nobody even making under $400,000 had a single penny increase in their taxes and will not. And if I'm reelected, that'll be the case again. But this guy is has increased your taxes because of the deficit. Number one, he's increased inflation because of the debacle he left after the way he handled the pandemic. And he finds himself in a position where he now wants to tax you more by putting a 10 percent tariff on everything that comes into the United States of America. What I did when, for example, he wants to get away with he get rid of the ability of Medicare to uh, for the ability to for the us to be able to negotiate drug prices with the big pharma companies. Well, guess what? We got it. We got it down to fifteen. Excuse me, thirty-five dollars for insulin instead of four hundred dollars. No more than two thousand dollars for every senior, no matter what they, how much prescription they need. You know what that did? That reduced the federal debt debt by a hundred and sixty billion dollars over ten years because the government doesn't have to pay the exorbitant prices. I'm going to make that available to every senior all all along. It's happening now, and everybody in America. He wants to get rid of We have. I'm going to make sure that we have child care. We're going to significantly increase the credits people have for child care. We're going to make sure we do something about what we're doing on. Lead pipes. It's a pre-recorded video. Causing health problems for people across the country. We're going to continue to fight to bring down inflation and give people a break. Thank you, President Biden. President Trump, you now have two minutes for your closing statement. Like so many politicians, this man is just a complainer. He said, we want to do this, we want to do that, we want to get rid of this tax, that tax. But he doesn't do anything. He doesn't do all he does is make our country unsafe by allowing millions and millions of people to pour in. Our military doesn't respect him. We look like fools in Afghanistan. Uh, We didn't stop Israel. It was such a horrible thing that would have never happened. It should have never happened. Iran was broke. Anybody that did business with Iran, including China, they couldn't do business with the United States. They all passed. Iran was broke. They had no money for Hamas or Hezbollah, for terror, no money whatsoever. Again, no money for Ukraine home. should have never had. What? He talks Iran about all this stuff, but he didn't do it for three and a half years. We're living in hell. We have the Palestinians and we have everybody else rioting all over the place. You talk about Charlottesville. This is a hundred times Charlottesville, a thousand times. The whole country is exploding because of you, because they don't respect you and they have to respect their president and they don't respect you throughout the world. What we did was incredible. We rebuilt the military. We got the largest tax cut in history, the largest regulation cut in history. The reason he's got jobs is because the I point is not to rebuild the military. Jobs. He's putting a lot of those regulations. You fucking idiot blob. All you fucking retarded blob. You trust fund baby piece of shit. Standpoint. We're we'll punch him in the face right now. Space age materials instead of going to Asia. I hate both these people so to fucking Europe much. Trying to get when you're terminally ill. Now you can go and you can get something you sign a document. They've been trying to get it for 42 years. But you know what we did for the military was incredible choice for our soldiers, where our soldiers, instead of waiting for three months to see a doctor, can go out and get themselves fixed up and readied up and take care of themselves and their living. And that's why I had the highest approval rating in the history of the VA. So all of these things, we're in a failing nation, but it's not going to be failing anymore. We're going to make it great again. Thank you, former President Trump. President Biden, stay with us because we have full analysis of this debate. Anderson Cooper and Aaron Burnett starts now on CNN. No one wants to listen to that. And it's over. Is that it? Finally. Yeah, and God. so the first presidential debate of the 2024 election season is. OK, in- so we have our analysis so we can turn this off. Let's just switch to us talking. I don't want to see this like. This weird, this weird, like, android, this isn't a human being. It's some weird android. I don't want to see this person's face. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Would you want to see? No, just switch to us chat. 
<laughs> this, is absurd. this is bad. Hey. Okay, so I don't know about you guys. I don't know about you guys, but um, I I came into this with really low expectations, and somehow they surpassed my low expectations and went even lower. What the fuck did you we just watch? What was that? That was like, for me at least, that was like uncanny, uncanny valley. This is really what y'all are forced to fucking choose. Yeah, really. And people really think the president actually makes the decisions when these are the candidates. Yeah. How does anyone with a functional adult brain believe this? <laughs> Wow. It, like, it, Trump, oh Trump already said he won the debate. At least his people did. Of course. And the Biden people are going to be like, yeah, Biden did amazing. Yeah, that, Even though he was short circuiting the whole time. Holy fucking shit. In a perfect world, this would be the moment. This would be the moment. Do you where America. Be, do you actually think there's going to be another one? Uh, I hope not. I can't do another one of these. I don't schedule one more in October, allegedly. I think th I think he's done after this. I think they're swapping him out. No, he's gonna die. He's uh, he's gonna be dead. So he didn't. Okay, so he didn't die on air. So I don't have to shove a bottle up my ass. Yeah, exactly. you're you're right off the hook. Yeah, you don't have to put a bottle up your ass, and I don't. I, I don't have to. So I mean, I would. I mean, it would be very entertaining. If he did, I'm just... yeah, yeah, that would get a lot of hits. Um, <laughs> the thing is, like, okay, um, the funniest things about that were like any <sighs> CNN did a really interesting thing here, and I'm gonna tell you guys first off that this is all controlled. This is all like, again, it's pro wrestling. You watch this for entertainment, but you don't take this as gospel. You yep. can't. But it was really interesting. All of the actual hot topic points here, they made Trump be the guy that would deflect it, and then Biden didn't even like touch it. The second they went to Palestine, neither of them even said a word about it. Trump didn't even attempt it. He didn't even go there. So all this shit, same with the economy. They were just like, the economy was better under me. No, it was better under me. Oh, I had to deal with his bullshit. Well, I had to deal with the president. All of the actual issues that you should problem. care about. That's the problem when you have two elections in, the row, in a row where the candidates are literally the same again. Yeah. Like how many times in history has how, how many times in American history has that happened? Uh, it's um, been your whole history, and it's been all other, whole history in Canada's too. Well, I know that that's have, what we get. You know, like, usually, like connected to family and shit, but like mm -hmm. that's what you get. How many times are we going to see? I'm that's all you get. So, like, what I'm not looking forward to is the Trump headlines that are just going to come out constantly, over and over and over again, and then. Yep. Everything's going to be, I don't know. At least it'll be okay to hate the president again. I think that's, I think that's a, that'll be a good, you know, we can, I can, I can get along with liberals again. You see, this is the thing about being independent, right? Mm hmm. Throughout my day to day life, I interact with people all over the political spectrum. And a lot of the times, like, you know, it's mostly like leading liberal to come in a blue state. But like, you know, you, you do encounter the conservative people, and like, there's points that you could point out, kind of like on both that are good and bad, and kind of bring them down to the middle. Like, you really kind of understand this stuff on like a, you know, on an independent level, like unbiased kind of way. Um, but the, the reality is that everything's fucked. They're they're all they're all they're both terrible. Yeah. Um, 